Welcome back. We are about to have an interview with Grandmaster Nana Zagnitza from Georgia, who has just uh, very convincingly scored back with black pieces. And that is not the first time, uh, Nana, you are doing this. And um, congratulations. Thank you. Tell us about the game. How uh, did it happen? You said that you chose Ratty. We said uh, between uh, us, the commentators, that that was a pretty nice decision for White when you needed to get a, a long position, game. long yes. game, yeah? And that is what, what, what happened. And you were speaking about this A5 maneuver. Um, yeah, uh, I mean, I didn't know uh, with, with Black this idea if to put pawn on if A4. Yeah, you can just show us the position. Yeah, uh, yeah, and decided just to put my my pawn on a three and the, then play in the center. I don't know. I mean, as I said uh, here, uh, White has uh, other plans, which is uh, c three d four, put pawns and then play. I mean, to close the center and play on the king side. But um, I don't know. During the game, I thought. Uh, C4 is also interesting, so that's why I I played C4 and uh, actually um, I think here instead of knight D4, knight D4, I'm sure it's a it's a mistake. I was thinking about knight A5 here. Yeah, we also considered this idea. Yeah. Yes. And um, I'm think I was thinking maybe uh, play bishop F4 to give this pawn. And uh, and uh, just attack on the king side. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I was considering this, but I, of, of course I have more safe um, option here to play knight e3. And uh, I think my position is uh, better because uh, her knight on b6 is very bad located. So I think um, position must be um, uh, must be white advantage. Yeah. So knight d4 must be uh, must be a mistake, I'm sure. And uh, here, uh, bishop h6. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, because uh, I was uh, calculated uh, here rook a d1. I think queen c4, and then uh, queen h5, and the uh, uh, rook transfer mm -hmm. from to e4 and to g4. And yeah. I think uh, this must be winning. Yes. Yeah, it looked like uh, totally winning, and also we were saying that th this bishop h6 is a typical idea. Typical and it's it's yeah. like the main idea whenever you go to this ready, you want to attack the king, so you every move you consider sacrificing something, yeah. especially on h6. Yes. So it was surprising that uh, Polina missed this uh, yeah. this idea, since it's just the the only uh, main idea of white. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so. After bishop h6, yeah, and uh, I was, I was, what I, what I was thinking here, just let me remember. Uh, maybe queen c4, mm -hmm. I think maybe queen c4 is the correct move here. And uh, queen h5 with the same idea, rook e4, rook g4. Transfer. But here, yes, g6 and maybe queen f3 and, uh, yeah, I liked this position for me. So, um, uh, instead of this, uh, she played bishop d7 and, uh, yeah. Here, I, I think I don't have uh, bishop g7, king g7, and same idea, because now she has f6, I think. Mm, all right. Yes. And that's why I decided to go straight away with this uh, plan, rook c1 and rook d1. Here, if she plays f6, I have a bishop f4. And uh, still, queen, queen, queen is trapped <laughs> yeah. in the mid, mid, middle of the center, yes. And... Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I think this this is already losing for black. Yeah. We were surprised uh, that the knight went to b6 and not to f8, which would be uh, uh, more logical. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. This knight is really, I mean, bad located like, on, it, it on b6. It seems like a yes. little bit the wrong direction for such kind of uh, structure Struct position. Yes, yes, yes. That's true. Yeah. Uh, but I think she started to play on um, uh, pawn on c4. That's uh -huh. why she decided mm -hmm. to go on b6. But uh, here, white's main plan is to attack king. So, yeah, I think uh, it would be better for her if she, uh, she would put knight on f8. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. All right. Well, today was um, an easy walk for you. Yes. Uh, we were interested about um, some details from your yesterday's game. Uh, that uh, idea that you had on the move, I think it was move uh, 16 or so, you could play D5. Uh, did you consider that idea uh, could give you a slight advantage, D5? Did you consider that? Or? No. When I made, made the move, Bishop uh-huh. E7, I saw immediately when I played D5. But before I didn't, I was calculated, but I don't know, somehow It was I, not your candidate. Yes, D5 was not my candidate. Okay. But uh, later, I mean, I had quite uh, okay position, but uh, um, somehow decided to sacrifice knight. Mm-hmm. I don't know why. Uh, and uh, yeah, got in trouble, but uh, even in the end I had chance. Instead of rook a4 check, I could play king f5, and it's not easy to win. Okay, okay she's, um, she's a piece up, but uh, still I have very good drawing chances, so yeah, but... Could have defended uh, um, much better. Much yes. better. Okay. Well, either way, uh, you still have a match tomorrow. So probably uh, one more question uh, from your previous uh, games. Uh, we were really um, impressed by your H6 uh, opening choice against uh, Carissa Yip. How did you come up with such a move? <laughs> we checked in the base. There were only like maybe a couple of grandmasters back at ten years ago, and some uh, uh, games by. Uh, uh, correspondence uh, or ancient games, some ancient games. Uh. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> and that's <laughs> but, all. I mean, uh, she's young, you know, so she's well t- prepared in opening. So I decided it would be better if I surprised her. <laughs> so I was thinking, thinking to myself what to play and finally decided to go H6 <laughs> and it worked <laughs> thanks, thanks God <laughs> how did you come up with uh, even like how did this idea came to your head was it like you opened the opening tree or no someone uh, no. you heard it from someone I was lying and uh, thinking <laughs> I don't know I, it just came up uh, to my mind like this so it was your own improvisation? Yes, yes, yes. Wow, that's amazing. That is like a true professional. Even when you're you're resting, you, you're, you're thinking, you're yeah. thinking on your own, you're using your brain. Yeah. And that is very, that is very rare nowadays. Everyone is sitting the, with the computer and the bass uh, mm-hmm. and yeah. really switching their brain. Amazing. Thank you so much for sharing uh, uh, such a small secret. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, wish you, um, yeah, it is important for you to have some rest for tomorrow yeah. so we won't uh, keep you long. Uh, thank you once again and good luck for your tie breaks for tomorrow. Thank you.